Good evening everybody. Very, very, very long time since I made a video. Um, so, as this is the first time in a while, I do have lots of other ones as you know. i got programming and all sorts of other ones. However, I do have this. Um, Tid Radio reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to do a, an unboxing and a review of their new radio. Now, it's not a brand new radio, but it is a new model. So, let's have a look and see what they've sent me. Okay, so it's the TID H3 Plus. So, I wonder what, uh, wonder what little, little nice things are going to be coming out about this. Anyway, so we have manual. We have the belt clip, lanyard, whatever you want to call it. We have a USB C programming cable or charging cable. We have ah, okay, yeah, belt clip. That's the belt clip. Oh, we have another belt clip. Um, hmm. Okay, nuts. Sure, what that's about. Anyway, we have two bar clips. We have. Oh, okay. We have. Oh, okay. A speaker mic. Wireless one. Interesting. Must be for the Bluetooth. Let's put that there. And we have. Okay, we have another lanyard. Interesting. I wonder what that means. <laughs> that means by the plus. Um, okay. What have we got here? And we have. Oh, this is the charger. So we have. Yep. There's you, the charger, and another USB-C cable. Interesting. Two USB cables, two clips, a wireless mic read, um, and speaker, charger, and two lan lanyards. One, uh, one on a instruction or guide booklet, user manual. One antenna. Let's get this opened up. Okay, so there's one antenna. And the radio, which has been attached. They're not usually attached. Anyway, let's... Uh, they, yeah, they usually come with um, the battery detached. Anyway, so here we go. What have we got in here? There's the battery. Let's get this focused there. Where are you? You can just see those specs there. And let's put that there. And the radio. So let's get that focused in there. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this. Okay, it looks around about the same size as the original. The H3, so you've got, yeah, you've got the, the Kenwood style connector there, then USB-C goes in there. Yeah, the buttons are pretty tactile. Yeah, the three side buttons, PTT1. Uh, PTD function one, function two, the antenna, the light, the two different LEDs there, and you know, no, pretty smooth. Okay, so let's just get this fired up and have a quick look at it and see what we think. So let's get it uh, connected up again now. So let's put the battery in. Oh, that's out slide and then locks. There we go. Turn around. Okay, let's move this over there. I'll try and keep it in one place so the focus doesn't get lost. Okay, I don't know if you heard that, that was pretty quiet. Let's uh, power that on again, but I'm going to yank the 
speaker all the way up. Welcome. Okay, welcome. So, initial impressions, I don't really see much difference here. Uh, so far. So it's probably in the menu system. So let's uh, let's go into the menu and have a look. Is that oh that actually makes the screen come on and off when we do that? So let's have a quick look in the menu. See if we can see anything here. Oh, DTMF, I went in the wrong place again. Right. So is that menu. Okay, menu settings. So we have radio settings, programmer channel, radio info, scan, Bluetooth, SMS. SMS? Huh, okay. It's got the radio info. Okay, so this is a TID radio ID 123. The radio ID is 123. It's the TID H3 Plus. Firmware version version 1.035, hardware and work mode. It's currently in ham mode. Okay, let's come out of here. Uh, Three. How do you exit out? Ah, that one. Okay. Let's go back to number one. Okay, we have radio we've got a squelch fox time on talk dual watch voice backlight brightness power on display display and it keeps going okay ptt delay on the side talk around fm oh here's the function buttons on the side factory oh i'm guessing it's factory reset the breathe led which if you leave the radio on, the screen goes off. You'll see the LED light up every now and again just to let you know it's on. AM band. You got 200 megahertz. 350. 500. DXing. Transmission, sorry. Okay, so let's go to the next menu. Programming a channel. Okay. So you got this. We see transmission bandwidth. Text power. How does it describe text power? Transmission power, sorry. High and low. Okay, the usual. Busy lock, call code, PTT, scan, scramble, offset, memories, hopping. Yep, okay. We've been in radio info. What's inside? Scan. Okay, I'm going to scan mode, which is, all right, yeah, that's the various ones. What it does, depending on what it finds, if it finds a signal. You can tell it to seek for DCSS. Oh, right, okay, so Seek for DCSS it actually has all of them in there. So it's for Seek for CTCSS, Seek for DCS, and Seek for Receive DCS. Okay, so I've got the hang time, scan frequency, what's scan frequency? Oh, right, okay, okay, this is the one where you, if you're listening to some transmission somewhere, and you're not, sorry, if you want to know if somebody's transmitting around close to you, you turn it on this and it should find the frequency and code that they're using uh, frequency ranger upper huh, not too sure what that is yet maybe set home hmm. alter lower limit and upper limit oh, okay that's something I'll look at later on I don't want to go into that yet um, okay let's come out of here Go to Bluetooth. Bluetooth on, off. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth is not on. All right, okay. Bluetooth name. Bluetooth pairing. OD. Oh, that must be for that. Oh no, that's OD Master. OD, I'm guessing. Uh, Bluetooth internal mic. Bluetooth internal speaker. Bluetooth mic gain. And reset. Okay. SMS. Interesting. Send and receive SMSs on this somehow. Hmm. Again, that'll be something I'll have to look into. Normally that's associated with digital radios. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's uh, let's try one more thing here. So it seems to be the I do not recognise a few of those settings in there. So I wonder if this has got any power in it. Oh, where indeed? Ah, there we go. Is that it? Okay, so it's got a lithium battery inside the um, inside the speaker mic. So it might be. Can I turn it on? Let's have a look. See if I can turn it on. Power on. Okay, I'm guessing that's trying to pair. So let's go back to here. Uh, Frequency. Channel mode. Oh. Frequency mode. Channel mode. Hold on a minute. Which one's seeing that? I oh, know it's actual radio. Okay, so let's go to Bluetooth. Menu. Bluetooth. Let's turn the Bluetooth on. I hope this is focusing all right. Confirm. Okay, it's on. Uh. Let's have a look at Bluetooth mode. Receiver emitter. Okay. Bluetooth name. That's just the TID. Okay. Bluetooth pairing. Make it pairable? Yeah, let's just make it pairable. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just making push buttons and assumptions here. Ooh. Oh, it's found my TV. Oh, there it is. TID, I'm guessing this is the uh, this is the mic. Well, yeah, it says mic there. So let's go to here. Let's pair. Bluetooth connected. Ah, Bluetooth connected. Let's go down here. Uh, which one do you want to play with? Bluetooth and Bluetooth. Again, speaker again. BT pin code. Ah, oh, right, okay. Bluetooth reset and back to the beginning again. Huh, interesting. So, if we let's go to that channel. Is there anything on here? Okay, it's coming through on this one. It's got the two function buttons here at the bottom. Ah, no, they're not function buttons. <laughs> Volume. Ooh, that's pretty loud. Transmitting. Odd, I can't stop it transmitting. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, turn that off. Something happened there. And it, disconnected. Oh, is that transmitting or was it? Okay, let's have one more look at that and I'll probably have to read them the actual documentation. Welcome. Oh, where's the oh, there we go. So is that gonna automatically reconnect since it was off? Since it was already paired. <laughs> Okay, well the Bluetooth symbol is there. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, that's weird. It's not reconnecting. Interfering with itself. Ooh, uh, right. Okay, so let's say. Uh, so it's not repairing again. So let's go and have a look. Bluetooth. Um, we got pairing. And let's have a look, see what paired. Okay, so it's paired. Oh, okay. Okay, so you've got to connect it afterwards, okay. Okay, I was a bit worried about that, uh, how it was just transmitting, it seemed like it was transmitting constantly, but I'm obviously going to have to read the documentation on this to see how it goes. Anyway, that's the unboxing of the TDH3 Plus new TID radio. Um, my contact at TID radio sent it to me and asked me to do a quick unboxing and a review of it. Uh, so far seems okay. A little concerned about the, the transmission side here but as I say that could just be me not read the instructions because you know what uh, we are like these days. We very rarely read the instructions until we can until we like don't know what we're doing wrong and then we refer back to it and Anyway, jabba jabba jabba. So, the Tidgeradio H3. I will uh, get back to you guys shortly and uh, we'll do some more testing and programming and all that sort of stuff. Have a good evening all. Seven threes. Good night. <laughs>